Hello, my name is Jürgen Schulz. I'm a research scientist here at CalIT2 at the University of California in San Diego. My work consists a lot of working with these virtual reality environments. These are room-sized systems consisting of many computers, typically on the order of 10, 20, maybe sometimes 30 computers that work together on creating a very high-resolution, realistic, three-dimensional image around the viewer. And we use three-dimensional input devices that you can hold in your hand and you can wave them around in 3D and you can click on things. And um, that's what the interaction is that we do in virtual reality. When I went to college, I took computer science as my major. And in computer science, there's, of course, a lot of mathematics involved as well. So the uh, mathematics is actually the first thing that you'll learn when you take computer science classes. You, you get to get a really, really good mathematical foundation, which is necessary to understand computer science algorithms and to build computer science algorithms. Now, when you've specialized in computer graphics, then you're going to have to go through a, uh, a educational program which is going to, again, have a heavy mathematical side to it because linear algebra, for instance, which is the mathematics of vectors and matrices, that is a key component of computer graphics. I, I, was always, I was always really comfortable with mathematics, even in high school and middle school. I always liked math because it was a way to, do, to get good grades um, without having to get too creative about things. Because all you have to do is understand the subject matter and then you solve the problems that people give you. So here at CalIT2, we work on a variety of applications for virtual reality and computer graphics and visualization. And um, uh, that starts in, for instance, engineering. We have engineering models that the engineers want to see, which could be very complex. And um, another area is architecture. Architecture lends itself very well to virtual reality because in virtual reality you can walk into these architectural models and you feel like you're inside of a building, for instance. And then you can do studies as to what you can see from your viewpoint, what the materials look like, what colors look like, and that can be very important for the architects. But we also work on other areas, for instance, in biology and biochemistry, we do protein visualization. We have a connection to the biggest protein database in the world, the PDB, and we can access any of the tens of thousands of protein structures that are in there, um, just like within seconds. And um, uh, we've also done visualization in biology, cell structures. We can do um, confocal imagery, image stacks in 3D. We've also done what which is related medical imaging. We've worked on uh, CAT scans, MRI scans. That can be a brain scan or a, a scan of somebody's abdomen. Now computer graphics requires a lot of mathematics and it does require computer programming and it requires a logical understanding of logical structures. And I want to make clear that for anyone who wants to work in this area, which the area is actually very fun, um, it does require some work which you can start doing in school, which is that you really put a focus on your mathematical skills, put a focus on your analytical skills and on, on logic and, and a good understanding of, of logical structures and, um, uh, and, and thinking, really. And if you start doing that in high school, you're going to have a much easier time doing that in college. And then once you've done it in college, then really the world is open to you. The science, all the sciences are going to benefit from what you've done, what you've learned, and the understanding that you have developed. So I really want to encourage you to not neglect mathematics, but make it, even if you don't currently like it, um, take a second look at it and see what you can do with it. And you will find that it's actually easier than you think. 